Welcome back to Game Programming with Unity. I'm Nicholas Bernhard Zeman, and in this section, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent material. Something that seems like it would be really easy, but in actuality, it takes a little bit of finagling to get stuff to work properly. So, what I've done here is I've got a material here for my cylinder called Checkered. Now, First, I have to change this from a rendering mode opaque to transparent. Transparencies are actually notoriously difficult to get to work properly in a real-time engine, and Unity is no exception. So when I turn on transparent, it kind of gives me some transparency, but it's not really a cutout, right? I mean, the parts that I want to be transparent are not actually transparent, but it's going to show me some transparency. It's turned on the concept of transparency. Now what I need to do is to make sure that my material actually becomes transparent where I want it to be transparent. And we do this by manipulating the texture. So you see where all the black parts are of my checker. I want the black parts to be transparent while the white parts are opaque. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find my texture that I've used. All right, now here's the thing where we choose that the alpha is going to be from the grayscale. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And you see immediately, it's pretty simple. It's not a hard process, but one of the things we have to keep in mind is we have to give this an alpha channel. Now, do I need to create alpha is from grayscale? Not if I have an alpha channel in this file already. But because it's black and white, it's already an alpha channel. It's already giving me black and white information. Now, if I bring in a file with an alpha channel, then I won't need to create alpha from grayscale. But I could create alpha as transparency. Now, this doesn't seem to really make much of a difference because we've changed the texture rendering setup. But for the legacy things, if you end up finding yourself dealing with legacy, oftentimes you have to make sure that it tells the alpha to be a transparency. Although in this case, it's not necessary. And there you go, it's pretty simple, but it requires just a little bit of finagling to make sure that, and look at this, it's nice that the actual, the shadow will actually reflect the transparency in your object. So when you were creating objects that are going to be transparent, we do that in the material. We make sure that we have an alpha channel that we use. So you can have a color map with an alpha channel, or you can create an alpha channel out of that object's black and white areas. And that's it. How to make a material transparent.